Hi, this is Jason T. Ingram. The date today is the 18th of April, 2017. This is uh, getting towards the end of a video log project that I've been doing since the beginning of 2017. And I think what it comes down to is um, documenting a time in my life as a mentally disabled person and finally making substantial effort to do what I consider is fulfilling my purpose in life and taking my art out of being a hobby that I keep to myself and having it as my vocation. And I found that, gosh, among a lot of very disturbing things that I've learned in the last four months, and one of those is that uh, when I am taking my art and putting it into the world as my vocation and is not as a hobby as, okay, this is the mentally disabled guy in the corner of the drop-in center with his crayons and they put it on a wall. See, that's one kind of way to have uh, an artist who's mentally disabled. For me, that's not enough. And I feel like in order for me to get to that place where this is my vocation, or this is my life, that means I have to not be unpopular anymore. <laughs> and being popular is something I've never done because I've always been unlikable when it comes to mingling with non-disabled people. And people that, um, well, for the most part, um, when they meet somebody who they think is unpleasant, they automatically think it's a character flaw and they make up their mind that this person's unsafe. And if I spend enough time with this mentally disabled person, whether I think he's intentionally hurting people or not, you know, it's kind of like, I don't feel unsafe around this person, but I'm gonna treat him nicely. But when it comes to him actually wanting to do this kind of career, what I am asking people is something that I realize that they are not willing to do. So this is what I'm saying. <laughs> disabled people for instance like the deaf community they are a subculture of their own with their own language and I'm proud to have a deaf friend and I don't speak sign language I learn a little bit of sign language and I forget it right away I'm terrible at it and I tell him that and it's hard but he knows I love him and I know the guy loves me and we see each other and hang out not very often but it's cool uh, because he is really good at communicating with non-deaf people. So we, we chat a lot online. He's helped me through some rough times, and he's really blessed me. Now, that is an example of here's a deaf guy that is functioning in the hearing world. Now, me, I'm a mentally ill guy, and I've been playing as a nightclub musician now on and off for years. Before that, I was a church musician and stuff like that. I was playing in their world. However... I was doing their stuff. I was doing their projects. I was accompanying them. I was promoting them. I was serving them, whether I was being paid or underpaid or not paid at all. But I noticed something really fucking horrible over the last several weeks. Is that when I want to be in their world and have what's in my heart as as something legitimately accepted as a part of the non-disabled world, the doors are shut and sealed and I am closed out. And I also am in a place where in order to have this career, I can't do it alone. So being stuck in that kind of a situation is kind of like the way I was stuck over a decade ago when I had a career as a church musician, and I loved this community because they were, for the most part, way more honest and upfront, and they worked with me. They worked one-on-one, -on -one and they allowed me in their world, and they allowed me to contribute, and it was really awesome, and it was incredibly fucked up at the same time. <laughs> and... I do know that that was a time in my life where I really did feel empowered, where I was kind of out from under the covering of my family, which is, you know, healthy to have that kind of support. 
and the kind of things that came with that support were making it impossible for me to fulfill my life's purpose. So what they gave me in my career 15 years ago was Jason T. Ingram is accepted as long as he's not gay. So I came out of the closet. I'm gay and it ain't going to go away. Well, that destroyed my career. And so the impossibility was, how on earth do I live my life and my faith and my world as a heterosexual person, which is just not reasonable to try to get a gay person to change into a straight person. Now, mind you, I'm about a five on the Kinsey scale, so I'm usually around 80 to 90-something percent gay. So yeah, there are times when I can swing the other way. What I'm trying to say here is the fact that I was expected to do something that was impossible for me to do. And it's been scientifically proven, too. And I can prove it as well in the lives of a lot of things that I've studied over the years that you can't change a gay person into a straight person. It's very destructive. And it led me to uh, attempt suicide. I never thought I would ever face that thing again in my life, but I have working with a, with a community that just as long as I'm doing their thing, it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm accepted. And I'm faced with this horrible challenge of I don't think I can live the rest of my life as a guy with a piece of paper drawing with crayons in a mental institution having put up on the wall and it says Jason T. Ingram is an artist. Look, see this? That's not enough for me. I have so much in me and I feel like I can contribute so much and I feel like I would be doing a disservice not only to the world but to myself if I don't allow myself to be honest with who I am and what I do and what I feel like is my purpose. And if I don't have that purpose, that's my reason for living. And no wonder why, like earlier this year, I had this thought and I thought, you know, well, that's a horrible thought to think if I don't succeed at this, I'm going to die. Well, I'm not so sure if that was a lie or not, because that's my reason to live. And my sickness has made it to where that's impossible for me to do it alone. And that's all I need is I just need some people that I can hire and pay money to. And unless I'm in their world, they won't even accept my money. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but that is my conclusion. Now, also mind you that this community around the Portland, Oregon area is full of incredibly dishonest people. They think they're practicing kindness, but what they're practicing is niceness. And niceness is this horrible thing that people do in order to not tell the truth. And the truth a lot of times is just simply saying, no, no, I'm not going to help you. No, I'm just going to let you suffer and go away. And if they told me that, that would be a lot better than just fucking ignoring me and saying, oh yeah, we'll help you. Oh yes, yes, we got this for you. Da, 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 and do nothing. And so this is what I'm faced with, is this really horrible impossibility. And again, I'm thinking, well, you know what? <laughs> I've had a lifetime full of impossibilities, so I might as well keep going. And my purpose for life right now is in limbo. And I'm really hoping that these people that I'm going to, and I still have some more people to ask help. And I don't know how I'm going to ask for help anymore when I'm hurting so bad. And and the more I hurt, I am not able to communicate very well. So I'm in a downward spiral and it's a horrible, horrible feeling. And at the same time, yeah, I started getting, I'm starting to get back on my medications. I got off of them and then I got off of, um, um, I started taking another one and then, and then I'm taking another one today, the, uh, the antidepressant. But it's still, it's this thing of like, why should I take medications when I'm, when I'm already dead inside? And why should I keep getting, quote, treatment if I'm not cured? 
And if I'm not cured, what's the point of suffering the rest of my life with every waking hour just about having this torment with a mind that hardly works? So, it just gives me another challenge as well. Finding another reason to live if this doesn't happen and accepting whatever outcomes there are and still having hope that this really could happen. So, that's my update and I hope this helps and I hope this doesn't get people like really depressed. So thanks. <laughs>